Sweet. And I will go over Blizzard and Ruben, who have rushed to the Cathedral of St. Mark's. You arrive. Uh, outside, you see a littering of vehicles, depending on what everyone drives. Uh, many of you would recognize from Louis or, or the runners that you've ran with. Bickle's Cab being one of them, such, and on top of it, I believe, is a drone. Um, you will even, but uh, you run in the front door <laughs> to this big cathedral. It's an old um, Byzantine style cathedral. It is not well used anymore. And the scene you find in front of you is I think Blackfeather is sitting down kind of near Havelock. Havelock is in this very intricately made labyrinth. The church is smells of incense and there are these candles that have burned about halfway down. They're really low. Havelock's in the middle of this labyrinth, and he is got a his a scalpel lays on the ground, a bloody scalpel, and he is in a pool of his own blood. In the middle of it is a jade chalice, and the blood has been dripping into this chalice, and is now just overflowing onto the floor. Havelock's just wearing a, a shirt, his armor jacket cast to one side. He has a cross cut into his chest, another in his forehead and two more on his shoulders, and he looks extremely weak. Uh, you can barely, you can't tell if he's even still alive. And outside of that, Blackfeather is sitting kind of on the floor. Uh, near, in the middle of this labyrinth is, near Havelock is a shivering portal that just looks black on the other side. So that is the scene that you come into, and I have sent you all PMs about that, uh, Blackfeather and Ruben and Blizzard, feel free to ch chat amongst yourselves, either on the Discord or if you want to in the Twitch chat or something, about how you're feeling about this scene. Actually, let me first ask, Blizzard, how do you feel when the scene you've just seen before you? Um, well, I'd probably want to go straight to Havelock and tr attempt something, but it does look like a ritual, so I'd probably have to ask Blackfeather what the hell is exactly going on. Yeah, it's it's very clearly a ritual. This is a you feel a very heavy background count, being that you're a shamanic and this is a church, and there's this ritual going on. Um, so you want to ask Blackfeather what the hell's going on? Reuben, uh, what do you feel as you enter this scene? Uh, annoyed because I see somebody that I have worked with and he is bleeding out, and Blackfeather is just standing there, not rendering first aid at all or doing anything to help him, so he will very annoyedly uh, probably bug Blackfeather what's going on, because he would have no idea this is a ritual. Blackfeather, what do you respond? Well, there's a door, and for a door you need a key, and to a key to the place like this, you need to neither be dead nor alive, you have to be somewhere in between. And have luck volunteered so if you heal him you might trap everyone on the other side other side but where are they well they went to go uh, fight the Shadim on their at their home and I'll like gesture to the shimmering blackness who exactly went in uh well there was Bickle, and Lifeline, and Max, and Sparkles, and, uh, and Fringe. The, uh, the priest that we met previously? No, you weren't there. The one who set up the ritual here. Blizzard would like shake his head and like stare into the portal at this point, I guess. You might want to take a look with your other sight before you hop through. Uh, I do so. So as you look at it on, with the astral, you just see this kind of blackness even on the astral, and you can very tell that it's, a, it's definitely magical in nature, and but you can't see through the portal or anything on the other side. All right. 
also standing there, who I forgot to mention, is a giant six-winged angel. Her wings are made of white fire, and she is holding a flaming sword, and is just standing, or I mean flying, kind of near the portal, like watching anything, uh, just staring through it. And they, she doesn't seem to have really noticed that you've come, come here, or is not paying you any mind. You might want to ask her nicely if you can go through, and uh, if you can come back if you want to go through. I'm guessing there's no way to figure out what they're going through in there. Nope. They left. I have no idea how long ago. It's been hours for you, uh, Blackfeather. It's probably only a few hours until dawn. They have until dawn to get back, or else uh, when Havelock finally runs out of blood, the doorway will close. You know, like, well, how much, like, how much exactly, like, how much blood has been spilt into, like, the copper overflowing around Havelock at this point? A lot of it. I don't know that Many you're proficient leaders. in man. Yeah, I don't know that you're proficient in medicine, but enough to know that no. he is not going to survive. Uh... More than a super big gulp. Yeah. <laughs> Are you expecting anything to come through this portal? I kind of like look at the giant flaming angel and kind of like look to you, Blackfeather, and like, are you just keeping half lock company? Both. Uh, she's taking care of most things that have come through. Mm. It does go both ways. I'm gonna turn to Reuben and like, I know you, I dragged you along, but. Uh... I don't think me or you should go running into this portal too soon. We should uh, make sure we know what we're doing. Talk to Blackfeather a little bit longer before we do anything hasty. Uh, probably for the best. Okay. Maybe see exactly what the hell is coming out of this portal. How so far are there just the little shadims? Alright. So, on the other side of the portal, skipping ahead, you have just arrived at the giant looming black fortress. You have entered inside, looked around a little bit, and walked through the courtyard. You dispatched two guards that were laying or er, guarding near the doors. And Sparkles has just unlocked the door, the next door that you were to go through, when you hear this large clanking sound of armor, and you finally see these black knights are, are coming, like running through uh, to, to fight you. And that's where we're currently at. Uh, the, as they enter into the courtyard to get close to you, just overwhelming, feel this even darker sense of doom and death that just starts collapsing onto you guys, eating your souls away. And good lord. We'll... Good? Good lord, I said. Yeah. And uh, we will... Well, it's okay. You're on uh, You're on guts and stuff, right? You feel no fear, at least most of you. And uh, out of character, I did, I did fix this map so that it's more on scale because I realized how I had it yesterday was absurd, which helped me with one scene but would hinder our other ones. So this map is not off to the same scale as it did. Uh, and, but we're going to immediately roll initiative as you've got a... A knights filing in and that death horrible armor coming at you. Hmm. Well. <laughs> um. Okay. Roll it, my good man. Click on your little tokens. Oh, I need to give our new fringe here access to fringe. I have access to fringe. Do you have access to like that? Right. Modifier. To help me manage my NPCs, our good friend here is going to fringe for me. 
I notice he's in the middle of this room. Is that where he's supposed to be to start the scene? Yes, he was kind of holding back from the door as everyone else clustered around it. These are these are kind of tall, like ruined walls. Uh, where Fringe is at is there are these piles of skulls on the ground, and there's always one skull on top, and it watches one of you as you move around, and it does move with you as it. Stop moves. looking at me, creepy motherfucker. Is Warren? Forgot to initiate Warren. All right. Looks like Max is gonna go first. Max, I don't know from where you're at. You actually have line of sight on anyone currently, but you can hear them kind of rushing through here. Just say you know. Well, they're all coming. From up here. Yeah, they're all coming from the north. You can you can hear them coming through those different doorways. And you guys looked through this area. You know there's four doorways up there, so they have to be in that direction. So you may need to move to get line of sight, but you, right where you're at, you don't have right now. Um, I think what I'm going to do instead first is cast a spell on myself into my sustaining focus. Uh, I'm going to cast a fire or a spell. In case someone tries to get close to me, they will hopefully get burnt as well as whatever. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, all right. And I can I can keep all four. Fantastic. Uh, I was double checking something. So I'm still in the matrix, right? So which initiative? I was trying to figure out which initiative I was supposed to. You be are on. still in the matrix. I think you were in AR though. Whenever you did this one. No, I was plugged in. Well, right? yeah, if I'm can, still where I was, you can plug then in yes. and yeah, you can plug in and be in AR. You don't have to be in cold to do it. But it's up to you. Yeah. I can't remember which okay. one you were in, but I nope, thought nope. you were in AR. That's correct. Yeah. All right. Next will be Fringe. Uh, Max, uh, fringe. don't forget that when you do a. F uh, let me double check this uh, on background counts because I think when you do a force four spell, it turns into a force one, right? I subtracted it from my dice roll. Yeah. Let me double check on that because it's going to probably come up. Where is Street Grimoire? It, uh, it lowers stuff that's sustained when you go in. Alright, it is. It's lower when you go in. Okay. That's why I, I remembered it lowered sustained spells some in some manner. Um, so that's what I was trying to remember. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, I don't take it drops the force, it drops the hits. Uh, I thought it would drop the force, not the hits. <laughs> it's yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure it's the force, not the hits. Yeah, so it's, it's just easy to spell, basically. It makes it so easier to kind of cast higher. Oh, uh, let me double check. Hold on. Oh, just forget it. No, no, I didn't get okay. enough successes to do... Uh... Oh, it, okay. It is only pre-existing sustained spells. It does have that varies particularly there. So you're fine. It's only if you had passed it on and then walked into it, it would lower it. So you're good. Alright, so okay, you, uh... So that was my action, and, I, and I'll move a little ways from the other guys so as not to burn anyone. Okay, yeah, they, good idea. If they get too close. <laughs> yeah, Max is now... Uh, what does your fire look like? Is it just... His fire is... It looks like a, uh, a flaming miasma of green flames radiating off of him. Testing. And I think it just applies to melee attacks against you or by you, right? Like it's a, it's not too big of an aura. Uh, okay, so yeah, don't give Max a hug right now. Fringe, you're next. Uh, Fringe is gonna start uh, making the form of a cross uh, off his uh, his head, his uh, shoulders, and his chest, and then uh, chanting in uh, Greek. And he'll be doing the cleansing, uh, cleansing complex action, and start. Uh, do a free action to start centering himself. All right, you do that. So Fringe starts praying. Like it's opposed by the background count. All right. Well, and I also uh, have my shot. Uh, I never did turn off my shot for it, though. 
Dark frills. Yeah, those Dark are. Dark frills. Yeah. 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 All right. So he'll reduce the uh, the effect the background count for I think twelve combat turns. Uh, three to reduce the background count, then two more to add to the base ten. Uh, for him. All right. He'll step back a little bit just so he's not uh, not super close. Start walking through those skulls. All right. The goons get to go neck. Oh, why did I move lifeline all the way down, down there? Again. Yeah, I did that last time. Go for it, lifeline. What do you want to do, good sir? Okay, I am going to move so that I can get line of sight. <clears throat> so I'm going to move sort of there. Here? Uh, which is going to be a walk at this point. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, I'll take. I'll. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I've already said that. Um, can I see this one? Yeah, yeah, you can definitely see that one. It's okay. Coming, coming through an archway. Okay. In that case, I will uh, donate some bullets. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do for the poor. Yeah, it's very generous yes. of you. Yeah, how, how many bullets would you like to pay to him? Uh, I, he, he looks like he needs six. Six. So six round okay. burst. I'm gonna aim, and I'm. I don't know how heavy. Do these look like the same guys we killed at the bill? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Very similar. Very, they're wearing, I'll try them again, they're in, like, dark medieval armor with these big pauldrons and a face mask, and, uh, yeah, and they're carrying giant, like, massive, long, it, it's not quite a pole arm. it's a little bit like a glaive, uh, but it's kind of, uh, and some of them got, like, these big claymore swords and stuff, so, so these big okay. weapons. Okay, um, so. but yes, they I look just remember. like the guys you did before. <laughs> How... I can't remember from yesterday. How heavy was their armor? Uh, I don't think it was that heavy. I think you guys were able to pretty well take them out with small arms and shotguns and whatnot. Mm. Okay. In that case, I will just do a standard yeah, it, uh, it, six-round burst. I won't do a bullseye. It was closer to an armored jacket than it was to a dragon scales, if that helps. <laughs> Okay, six right. hits. Pew pew. Let me roll yep. his defense. One pew for three round each three round burst. Or That's three nice. rounds. Yeah, I totally didn't take negatives off that. Uh, so the last one of the hits wouldn't have counted. So you got two hits. Okay, two net hits. That is thirteen p minus six ap. He only got two hits. You got four net hits. Assuming you can keep all six of those. Oh. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I can. My accuracy is eight. Um. So that is going to be 15p minus 6 AP. 15p minus 6. Not 96, that would be crazy. <laughs> All right, he will take 5 damage. So your uh, burst uh, rounds going to knock him back a little bit and just deposit it all into his dark black armor. This nasty black goo starts to kind of seep out of the holes. The knights go next. So, let's see. How far can they move? Right, they are going to do that one that you just shot at. is going to charge you, Lifeline. Cool. So he's got plenty of movement. I'm actually just going to move him straight toward you, but he's really got to dodge through all those skulls and whatnot, so it'll take him a little bit extra. He has to get into running to do that. And he will try to hit you with his long ugly black claymore that he's got. Okay. So that's negative two reach? Yeah. Uh, yes, I believe his reach is two with that. Yep. He only keeps five of those, though. Not seven. Okay. That's three net. Alright. be 14p minus five. Okay. 
I'm so Switch disappointed 14. in my initiative. What? What did you say, Blizzard? Bickle? Bickle? So disappointed in my initiative. Oh, sorry. What was did, what did you say on just... Yeah, B. It was 14, so B3. No, 5. Four, I can't math. I can't math, man. Don't make me do it. <laughs> you said 14. It was 14, yeah. So, I think 5. Okay. 5 is what that would be. Okay, I'm going to edge that then. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty good. Alright. Uh, that was the first one. Next one will also come running down here. He's going to attack Fringe, who is uh, he's doing the same thing. He charges Fringe. to defend against that attack. Did you take the nig? It didn't matter if you didn't. The, the reach. Uh, oh, I did not take the reach. That's okay. The last two didn't count anyway. Uh, so V7. That'd be about 20. They can move that far. So, the other ones are going to run out of the doorway. They are going to run past the group, kind of around this hallway, and run straight for probably Bickle, because that's who's going to be in his line of sight right now, assuming Sparkles. Uh -huh. And his teammates, a fellow knight, is also going to do that and charge at the Bickle. He's currently in sight. So two of them run down there and charge at you, Bickle. Okay. Right, let me give you some swings here. Why you gotta do things like that? Why? Because they're knights of death and deathlessness. You're <laughs> in their home. Oh, there it is. The old planet, I think, is being a little slow, so if that rolls more than once, that's because mine was impatient and clicking it too many times. Uh, Alright, so you got four and five. Oh, no, wait. One gets a friend in melee bonus. Ignore that it eight. It did roll 20. Yeah, don't. That yeah. Did, that. Just roll 20 being slow. Actually, alright, fine. Pretty slow. Last one to win the hit anyway. Alright, dodge four and five. <laughs> it'll, be right. a, it'll be a negative three for the first one, and a. Or sorry, negative two for the first one, negative three for the second one for reach. Three for the first one, so five. Nope. All right. So it'll be... First one got three, second one got four. Yeah, 14p minus five and 15p minus five. Okay, so Bickle takes five and one, so six stun. Um, that will be 30, so I can't move quite that far. Eight, ten, seventeen. All right, these guys are going to charge down toward Max, but I don't think they have enough movement to get to it. <coughs> right, I should say, I should say they're running, uh, so I'm just going to have them go straight down and over because that will make my life e for measure easier. That'd be 29. See so yeah, how they're not going to be able to get to you. They're about five meters away from you when they run out of movement for this combat turn. Somewhere about in that area. Uh, these guys also have enough movement to get to Lifeline, so they'll do that. They will charge down toward you, good buddy. Okay, okay. Alright, so they got four and one. 
Oh, I forget friends in melee. Hold on. It's gonna roll two and add each a dice to each of them. Uh, but they were both not hit, so they didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Four and one. That's what we got. Okay, are these charges? They were charges. They are also wielding those big claymores, so uh, the first one will be what negative three, and the next one will be negative four. If you've been attacked before. Yeah, but I get plus two for defending a charge. I think. I, I think can't so. Remember. Yeah, you might have to take an action to like do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it for now because you'll need okay. it. Okay. Okay. So the first one. Ties. Ties, and the second one. Dodge. Uh, all right. Two more of these guys. Run in. They are going to run out of movement, so they are going to run down here. Get to about right there. Uh, no, they all go. They all go. Nineteens and twenties. Okay. Some of these last two gotta go two. We'll stare it down there. It'd be ten-ish. And no, they're gonna go this way. So it'll make more sense. Four, six. Fifteen. 29, so they can't quite make it down there. Alright, so these guys are going to also come charging in. They're going for the people in the corner, but they're uh, going to run out of movement. So they will be kind of out of this turn. I will also put a little red dot on them so I remember that these guys are all out of movement. They're just going to stare at you guys menacingly and angrily from afar because they mechanically cannot run to run far enough to reach you this turn. Oh, I guess I could do running ah. checks. Hold on. I forgot they could do running checks. Let's see Why how that goes. Ah, uh, sorry, Ben. Actually, no, no, no. The, so one of them will do a running check. The other three are going to run down and fear you guys, which I think everybody that they really will have line of sight on has taken guts, so we don't have to worry about that, right? Max, you also took guts, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So that guy gets two more meters toward max, but otherwise they all are going to try to fear you because they don't know you're on guts. And they're all out of movement. All right. So we'll stick with that for now. Next will be Miss Sparkles. What would you like to do? Do, they, do any of them have a matrix presence? They do... Let me double check. I think they don't. If I don't see them, then I'm gonna disconnect. Yeah, you don't see you don't see them in the uh, the matrix. At least. Yeah. Nope. All right, then I'm gonna I'm gonna unplug and I'm gonna float up. Quit getting to combat with Bickle. I need a friend in melee. <laughs> yeah, these these pillars are probably about three meters high. Um. Maybe, I know they're probably more like five, so if you want to float up on top of one of those, you can stand and see the battlefield. And then I'm going to assume that is the disconnect is uh, the only action I can take. Oh, are you doing a full, like, reboot? Or did you just Once I get... Disconnect your... Oh, oh, I forgot. You're still plugged in the door. Since there's no wireless, I don't need to disc... I don't need to reboot, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you... the mark will just disappear when I drop. Yeah, we'll say for a simple action, you can unplug your device from the the lock, the mag lock that you were in. Just pull it out of that thick black goop, and then you yep. can you can fly up. You still have a simple action if you want to do something. I'll pull my pistol. All right, you ready your pistol. I'm gonna put you over here just so I can remember that you're in the air and not on the ground. Um, and you can take the dot away. Uh, well, it, it's still got a mark. It's still got a mark because you haven't rebooted it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's super weird. It would still have a mark on you, but there's no wireless matrix. 
We'll hold on to I that for I, now. I lose <laughs> my, yeah, I, I lose my yeah. mark and they lose theirs. Um, if not, I still have a mark on them. Yeah, you you still. I'm gonna leave the blue mark there for now, um, and I'll think about that okay. when we uh, get back around to it. Uh, all right, Warren. Seeing this kind of dire situation, what is what is Warren going to do? What has Warren got here in his arsenal? Let's see. What does this do? I'm not familiar with the spell. Hopefully, Ooh. something valuable. Something valuable, haha, <laughs> Mr. Pickle. Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> Uh, Warren is feeling pretty pretty hurt from the background count. He is going to start kind of whispering in Sporethial. And then he is going to cast a... Actually, he's going to... Does he have to touch you for that? No, good. He's going to cast Armor on Max. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like he walks up and touches Max and burns his hand. No, 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 he doesn't have to do that for that. Uh, hoping that, that Max is going to, to be his tank. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. He could cast that fairly reasonably at a force 5, so force 4 is good enough. Uh, Max, you will gain, is it 1 per, I believe? Yeah. Yeah, it's cumulative. Okay, so you'll get four more armor. Lovely. Oop, totally didn't know that. Right. As Warren has started becoming a buff up. Make note here that he's sustaining a spell. All right. So he has done that. He managed to sexually avoid the drain. And he just looks at Bickle really snarkily and says, in, in, I almost call it common, in English. So it's very snarkily, I'm helping, all right? I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna, Thank God. He's going to go into full defense because he is scared as shit. <laughs> uh, Bickle, it's going to be your turn. All right. Um, well, I'm surrounded, which is kind of shitty. Um... I'm not going to lie, we're getting to the point where Bickle's tankiness is starting to lose effectiveness. But uh, I have my chainsaw out from trying to chainsaw that door. And I'm going to use said chainsaw on the nearest evil bastard. Which is... I just need to get my penalties right. Not great. Because <laughs> right, they, they ran, so I'm taking penalties to hit, right? Yep, you're taking negative two because they're in running. Yep. Oh, and, uh, what were you firing This one right here. A shotgun? It wasn't firing, it's my chainsaw. Your cha oh, sorry, you have your chainsaw. I have my chainsaw in my hand for trying to chainsaw that door. Oh, I totally forgot about that. That's right. Uh, does your chainsaw give you reach? Two. Keep that in mind, because I told you to take negatives on your defense, and the chainsaw cancels out their reach. Oh, I thought it was just we trade penalties back and forth. I thought you had a gun in your hand. Uh, so go ahead and roll on the first one. Well, on both of them. Go ahead and just roll two more dice on each of them. Okay. All right, so the first one you would have got one more hit. That one you ended up taking damage from, so you would have got one less stun. Yay! Yeah. Sorry, I thought you had your gun in hand. Uh, all right, you got your chainsaw, though. All right, so yeah, I'm going to saw through this dude right here. All right. Let me actually... Only four net hits, though. So Only four successes so far, though, so... Yeah, let me roll his defense. His reach doesn't matter, so... Uh, you only got three, so you get one hit. Ah. Uh. Thirteen P minus eight. Yeah. Sure thing. Yeah, all right. All right, he takes eleven damage. 
Chainsaws yeah. are good. Uh, he. I'm looking at Warren. I mean, look at what their what's their damage limit. Uh, you managed to saw through him, just cut him in half, and like straight through his armor. He is dead. Vroom, vroom. He falls down in this, this black, gushing blood. It's just like almost as sticky and tar like. Uh, also, keep in mind when we end this turn, you're going to lose your 10 initiative, but you're at only. A, you're at perfect zero, so if Sparkles, leaderships, and you see her as a leader, you might get another pass. Uh, all right, back around the top. Max, you go first. Um, Max is going to take a couple of steps back about here. And then he's going to cast a ball lightning about there. Ooh. All right. Pretty. So it's a six meter. It'll be a six meter radius. So that should catch all those guys, but... I don't think I stepped that far enough. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I calculated that all before. Yeah. I'm going to be centered there. I guess I'll center it there. Uh, ping where you want it? Right uh, there. Right there at the, at the bottom of that column right there. Okay. That should be enough. <laughs> Get my ruler out. That should be enough for you not to get it, but yeah. Four six. I'm gonna I'm gonna edge that because I just don't like it. All right. If you does it just use one point of edge? If you do, no, that's push the limit. Never mind. Okay. Uh, so I got two out of thirteen. Okay, so six successes. All right. Move that guy. Uh, looks like he's gonna hit at least three of them. I'll give that other guy a figure him out in a minute. Alright, I think what is it? A negative two to your defense for an area attack? So I'll take a negative two for that. Though they are running, so I don't know how that works out. We'll figure it out. Let me just roll, make the rolls, and we'll see how they do. And that guy, we'll, we'll give him a defense, we'll just give him a nice bonus, because he's kind of behind a lot of cover. Right, let me check my modifiers table, and I'll just reduce from the end. Okay. They're good, then. So, how many did you get? in total six yep all right i feel like i missed one of them what if i did this guy Let's... all right i didn't do that guy because that, that big bonus one was for the guy who was kind of half behind a wall so it didn't hit him the wall managed to shield the, the lightning from getting in but i think you hit everybody else you got one net hit on the first you got four on the next and two on the last one. Okay. So the base is going to be 6P minus 6AP. So on the first one, that would be, you said I had how many? Uh, you one. got one, so it would be 7 minus 6. Oh, and then the second one I got 4. 4, yeah, so be 10 minus 6. That would be 10. And what was the third one? And the last one you got one. Oh no, you got two. Two. Okay, so that'll be eight minus six. Eight minus six. Alright, so the first guy took five damage. The next guy took seven damage, as he is a bad tank and failing all of his rolls. <laughs> He's so many ones. And the third guy took four. So they're all still up, but they all took a good chunk of damage. I'm suffering from wounds and whatnot. Fantastic. Move this ball of lightning for now. Alright, well played, sir. Well played. Fringe! Well, they, were, okay. they were nicely grouped. They are nicely grouped, yeah. That's true. 
So Fringe extends a hand, uh, kind of over Lifeline's shoulder at one of the uh, the Dark Knights, still swinging at him and uh, still chanting in la uh, Latin. A, a white, a white hot lightning bolt shoots from his fingertips. Okay. Suddenly, I'm reminded of that song, uh, "Some Like It Hot." <laughs> Some like it hot. It's awful. Uh, okay. You know, pink for me. Which one you want to do? All right, sounds good. Let me uh, roll his defense. Let's see, does any of this have matter? I don't think so. Okay, cool. Then he will. Let's just get that. So you get one net hit on him. Uh, so it's going to be 11p minus 10, it looks like. You did a force 10. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, he will take seven damage from that. And he's been shocked by electricity. He'll take negative one dollars actions. And his initiative will drop to five by five. So put him down. To oh, five. yeah. I That's forgot it. about that on those guys I hit. Oh yeah, I did too until he did it on the other one. That's a good point. Yeah, they all hit were were hit with that, so um Actually because two of these groups had the same bonus, I'll do this. Um oh. I'm making roll twenty mad for some reason on that guy. I'll remember. They have a negative one. Uh so I'm just gonna put those guys who've been zapped on the same one and I'll drop all their initiative down to five. We'll move them down. So here it is. Those three near max, and then this guy up here, I'll make a little note that he's been zapped by electricity. Make my life easier. Alright, well played, Fringe. Lifeline, we're back to you, man. Okay, so... Um, there's one in melee with Fringe and three in melee with me, yes? Yes. Okay, uh, I will move out of combat, so just the other side of fringe, and shoot the one that I shot before. Okay, if you're trying to move out of melee combat, one of them's going to do an intercept action on you. Okay. Boom, boom. Roll that. Go ahead and do your defense. Uh, do I get friends and melee penalties and everything? Uh, you just get the negative two from the reach, I believe. Okay. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Double check right now. The interception rules is one that I always forget to uh, to keep on hand, and then I always want to do it. Never happen. Uh, more actions. Interception. It's a negative five to initiative. Movement takes the character within one meter. You make an attack. Do a defense. Okay, so let me first. You have to we have to do soak roll first. So. It's going to be 3, be 14p minus 5. And then only if the character takes damage equal to their body, he cannot continue moving. Okay, I'm going to edge that because that's crap. Okay. Okay, I take four stun, and that's me out of edge. Uh, what's your body to? Five. Your body's five? Okay, so you can continue your moving where you want, even though he did take a good whack at you. I'll make note of this guy. That's lower edge. So I got four left. Alright, 
proceed to shoot things. Well, it's gonna have to do. All right. Uh, were you? Who are you shooting at? Anyone in particular? Uh, the one I wounded before, so the one that uh, okay. charged me first. Yeah, sounds good. All right, let me roll his defense. Um, he is sort of in melee with oh, well. French, so. I just realized I've not been rolling enough dice. Okay, feel free to roll more dice. Yeah, I upgraded my arms to uh, agility nine, and I've been forgotten to include the plus three. Yeah. Let me double check his uh, modifiers here. Uh, did you what uh, what round burst did you do? You know those six round bursts? Yeah, so it's minus five. Okay, minus five. Okay. Uh, well, he got no hits on his defense check, so you okay. get. Well, in the appropriate number, I got three. You get three, three hits there, yeah. on him. Okay, so it's 14p, AP minus 6. Alright, he'll take another 8 damage. That blood, blacky glue comes flying out of his chest in the Ickiness cities, and he is dead. Damn Ickiness. Damn Ickiness, man. Alright, Sally, uh... Okay. So... Uh, these guys ran down here and did fear last time, and that didn't do a whole lot for them. Let me see if they've got anything else that they can do. Hmm. Nope. So they're going to spend their ye old initiative turn to just do full defense. Be hearty knights that they are. This group, uh, that one is going to take a swing at French. He no more. He doesn't currently have a friend in melee, so he's all alone on that one. But he does get a neg. Uh, you take a negative two for your re the reach. Because they were all going to go next as well. These other two are going to move. Anishi. Let me see how much movement they had left. They were. They were. They were this one can't move, but that one can. So he's going to move up. He's also going to take a hit on Fringe. So you do and do your defense again. This time with 17 dice. Uh, he doesn't get a plus one for Friends of Melee because he's been zapped by electricity. <laughs> Alright, and they're both trying to slaughter Fringe and having no luck here. That's kind of that group. Uh, these guys are all essentially out of movement. Uh, one of them is going to try to fear... M He's going to try to fear Warren. Nobody's tried to do that yet. Ah, oh, shit. Did we not give him guts? <laughs> Warren does not, uh, does not have guts. But, what is fear resisted with? It is willpower and logic, which Warren is pretty good at. And unlike you, he doesn't need drugs to have guts. He's got those those internal guts. I don't, that didn't make any sense. He, <laughs> uh, but unfortunately... He's got great guts. <laughs> yeah, it sounded good. It's not, though. It did not succeed at all. Okay, so Warren... Man, Warren doesn't have a really good place to run to. Oh, he's just going to run, like, right here in, like, this little tiny square and cower in fear. And he is feared for the rest of this combat pass. Uh, that's going to be his turn. So they tried to fear Max. They tried to fear... Bickle, neither of those things worked. Um, one of them is going to try to fear Sparkles. Yes. So go ahead and roll me your willpower plus logic. And 
these other guys are just gonna do running checks because they need to get closer to you guys if they want to hit you. Alright. What how do you feel when you see this sense of terror like tries to invade your your mind, Sparkles? It's as if the Matrix was gonna be taken away from me forever. <laughs> and you'll have none of that. Uh, okay. Hell no, I've been to those places. <laughs> Sai only gets like another meter, which is not overly <laughs> impressive. <laughs> this guy gets another two meters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get the lifeline with that, so he'll do that. Uh, Alright, lifeline, give me a uh, yield defense check. Uh, isn't running a action? Oh yeah, no, you're right. It's a complex action. Yeah, because he's, he's sprinting at this point. He's not just running. Uh, so he run he runs up to you and does nothing else. <laughs> He's out just standing in your personal space. Hey guys, I'm here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh what's going on? Uh, the other one needs to do a running check as well. Uh, ooh, so close. Uh, that guy yeah, as well can can sprint up and and get all in business between fringe and lifeline. But again, that's that is their turn sprinting. Uh, though whenever somebody is sprinting, it is a negative four to shoot them, so I do need to mark them actually as not just running there. All these wavy lines. Now nah, I'll just put this green dot there. They are actually running. Or sprinting, rather. Kind of, sp I mean, sprinting is a generous word. It's really more of a, a rough jog they're going for here. That one didn't sprint, that one trying to hear sparkles, and sparkles was not impressed. Uh, all right, that's everybody. Bickle, did I try to swing at you already once? That was my last one. Did, uh, I, do, did I do this uh, guy? Not try this to hit round. You? Okay, that guy's gonna try to hit you. Uh, he takes a negative two now because his charge isn't really counting and he's running. So, beat two hits. All right, and you said it does away with the penalty from him. Yeah, you you don't have to worry about. So I only take the one penalty well. for. Uh... The one penalty for already being attacked this round, then, right? Uh, I don't think you've been attacked this round because you killed the other one, didn't oh. you? Before you yeah, got to no, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, so I think you're, you're right. It's just you and him squaring off. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, twelve p minus five, good friend. Two hits versus one. It's a rough fight. <laughs> Claymore versus Fuck chainsaw. You. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Stupid damn Claymore wielding motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, all right, Sparkles, it's up to you. What do you want to do, Miss Sparkles? Give quit, the initiative. Quit <laughs> dilly dallying around and take these guys out. Yay! That's a pep talk. <laughs> it it's is. enough for me. It is for Sparkles. <laughs> yeah. All right. So anybody who sees Sparkles, their leader, can increase their initiative by one. And this will actually Yay. give Pickle a round this turn. And Mr. Max. And Mr. Max, yeah. Well, Max is already gone this turn, but yeah, he'll have one more initiative pass now. So that means I'm up, I believe. Uh, yeah, that'll put that'll be you next then. Unless Sparkle said anything else you wanted to say. Um, and hit him. Pickle <laughs> <laughs> obeys <laughs> fervently and uh. hits the remaining armor attacking him. Alright, you need remaining armor deck. I keep all that. Uh, defense check. Um, did you take, you took the negative two for him being running, right? Oh, oh. I did not. So, uh, I have five successes. As I say, don't, wor don't worry about it, because I accidentally just failed to give him his bonus. So, hey, no, this is all in my favor. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> give him his two more dice. And it didn't fucking matter. I don't know why I bring these things up. Uh, all right, so you got five hits. You still got one net hit on him. You're good. What's your damage code? Chainsaw. 13p. 13p minus eight, I believe, right? All right. Yep. We 11 physical. You also chainsaw this dark knight in half. Gooey black blood going everywhere. All right. On we go. I think all my knights and stuff are out, so it's going to be max next. Max is going to take another step back. Over here, uh, Bickle will hear the, the the crackling sound of the flames radiating from his body, and he will cast yet another 
fall lightning into the same spot, which should still capture all of those guys. Yeah. Which would be right there. Which should catch these guys. Yep. Ooh, and I can keep all of those. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, all right. So that way, yeah. I think yeah, sparkles just out of it. These guys are probably where exactly did you put it? Um, it was the base of same, that column. Same spot there? there? Okay. Cool, yeah. cool. All right. Let me do some rolls and defenses. Uh, see. Oop. Um, so, so you cancel each other out. They do get a negative one because of the lightning damage that they had already previously taken. Took a little drain. Easy ones first. All right, and then let's see. Those guys are probably in cover, so. Uh, all right, so you got two on the first, three on the next one. So there's a four, six. Yep. All right, so that'd be eight minus six, I believe, on the first one. Be nine minus six on the next one. And the last one actually tied you. So he gets zapped. But it's not taking any damage from it. But the other two... I believe that will kill at least one of them. Uh, both of them, actually. Alright, two of these are dead. They just explode in... Li Would you like to describe your kill? Lightning? Uh, Max makes arcane gestures with his hands and the a ball of lightning appears that he tosses at them which blossoms into a large area of crackling energy Fantastic. enveloping both of them and frying them in their spots what color is your lightning um we'll go with the with the the uh uh maelstrom of green all right energy again that okay. seems to be his color Fantastic. M matches his eyes Fringe, you're up, Fringe, you're up next. You go ahead Most and another, another lightning bolt uh, lances from his fingertips at uh, one of the ones directly in front of him. Okay. Was was this one over here the other one that was dead? Yeah, both those are dead. Just the one that's in front of you kind of has unfortunately not been hit. Got a pretty good roll. And we got fringe rolling up stuff again. I think. All right, you get two net hits. So it'll be, I believe, 12p minus 10. I know we're kind of in the middle of a swirling battle here, but we notice anything from those skulls that are piled around? They're watching you. Okay. They're looking at me funny. They're looking at you funny. I right. say we napalm them. <laughs> one takes, if you want to investigate them, you can. That one takes nine nine damage. One's fringe uh, electrocutes one of them. I think he wasn't hit with electricity before, so he takes a negative one. We're being zapped. Left line. You got two of them with okay. claymores in melee range with you again. <laughs> Looking at you furiously. Okay, I'm going to... Let go of my rifle and let it fall by my side on its sling. Uh, I'm going to say to Fringe, fall back to the door. We're getting surrounded. And I'm going to uh, extend both of my spurs. Okay. And I'm going to use the last of my movement to move to sort of where Sparkles is because I can't get all the way to Pickle. Okay. Can do that. So that will just put, I believe, Max has still got two more passes. So, what do you want to do, Max? Well, I don't like this guy that's coming at me still. So we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to do some more damage to him. Yeah. I think we'll do a lightning bolt at him since. Uh... Yeah, this is just the one guy. Uh, 
Alright. Uh, let me roll yep. this defense. Yep. See how he does. Alright, get one net hit on him. That'll be 7p minus nice. 6 AP. Alright, I'll take three more damage. He's still up, but he, and he's looking really pissed at you, and he's, he's just completely focused on you <laughs> now. You would imagine pretty soon he's going to come straight towards you. But you have one more pass, so what would you like to do, thanks to Sparkles? Um, well, let's rinse and repeat. Alright. Where we go. And no drain. Okay. I have a... I got three... Ah. Uh. Uh, you got four. Let me make sure I did my math right on that. Oh, he did. Okay, so you got four. He managed to dodge your lightning this time. He's gotten wise to your attacks. And we are actually out of initiative. So let me start this back at one, and we'll all go for pass, I believe, number two. Yay. Yay. We're rolling on my shitty initiative. Well, do better, man. That's what I'm hoping for. I did not. I did much worse. <laughs> Not much worse. One point less, so I understand it's it feels much worse. Sorry, man. I shouldn't laugh at that. You can you can do this. You got this, pickle. You can laugh I at mean, it anyway. It happens. It, ha it does happen. It, ha it happens to everyone once in a while. All men experience this occasionally. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, that was me. Uh, hold on. I gotta I gotta do Warren. Warren's got this. Warren's, uh, Warren's feeling good this fight. He's no longer scared. He's going to get back in there. Is Bickle not on some drugs? No, I'm not right now. Not yet, yeah. no. Um, Fringe, you're up first. So he'll go ahead and chunk a lightning bolt at the one uh, that he uh, just shot a second ago and then start kind of moving backwards, still chanting in uh, in Greek. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you move, you wait till I get to make my attacks of opportunity on you. I've got initiative again. Uh, okay, so right. you, uh, you're you doing lightning bolts again, the one you just hit a minute ago. Uh, he's no longer running. He didn't get any bonuses from that. He's just been electrocuted. He does got that going for him. Uh, all right, three net hits. That would be 13p minus 10. And he dies a horrible death as you have electrocuted him full of black goo with the lightning of God. It's very noble of you. Is it? Is it golden lightning? It's a golden lightning. It's a good question. Tell me, Fringe. Uh, I thought it would be like bright white, like white and pure. White and pure, like the snow. Exactly. All right. All right. Well, yeah. So they're gonna they're gonna take a whack at you as you uh, start trying to move away from them, because they don't they don't want you to get away. So all of them that are now in range of you will do that. That one probably can't hit you. So you go ahead and give me a defense check at a negative two for the first one, then negative three for the second one. Oh, and I always forget friends in melee. It never matters. I don't know why I bother. <laughs> uh, I think it will go in full defense. Because you have to add the dice in with the rest of them, so they have, yeah. like, you know. Yeah, I think that's So, uh, what's the negatives? You said minus two for the first? Minus two and minus three. They have to have the protection of the pack to be successful. Mm -hmm. All right, Fringe managed to successfully dodge away from both of them. The Lord has blessed you, sir. All right, up next is Max. That one dude is still charging at you. I have I have damaged him already, right? Yes, 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 yes. He does. Uh, which I don't, I don't think I. If we mean to turn these little bars on, and then I don't think I do. Um, can you see those the green bar? Yeah, but yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, you could, you've damaged him. He's looking exhausted and wounded as he tries to run toward you. All right, well, we'll try it again. Four six lightning bolt, three successes. 
No drain. Okay. He takes a negative one for being electrocuted previously. Ooh, and gets no hits that time. So you got three on that. So you at nine. That'll be P minus nine six. P minus six. Cool. That's another uh, six damage to him. That's enough to knock him out. He starts charging toward you, and you just fry him one. Yay. Lapline, you're next, man. Okay. Um... Uh, okay. Well, can I use my rifle while my spurs are out? Are you okay with that? Uh, I would assume no on that, since you essentially have melee weapons now. I'm going to go with no on that one. Okay, fair enough. Uh, in that case, I am going to move to where Bickle is to because they're going to collapse on us so we need to uh, um, gather up to get the safety of the pack so I'm basically you know Bickle and I stood shoulder to shoulder going to try and smack some armor down all right, I'll move this one dude up a little bit. <laughs> He's dead. Laying on the ground. You clamber over through some knights. Stand uh, epically with Bickle. And your uh, spurs out. And Bickle's got his monofilament chainsaw. I do indeed. Uh, yeah, we're, we're talking, you know, epic pose type moment. Yeah, you, so you move, that's fine. Do you want to hold your action until Bickle's turn? Uh, or, or do you want to act on their turn? It'll just be a negative one right, for we'll holding move. your action. But I'll let you still do that if you want. Yeah, I'm going to hold my action until something gets into media range. Okay, then yeah, you can essentially act on their turn, which will be next, so. Alright, uh, so, yeah, sure enough, I mean, they're going to they're gonna do what they're here to do. They're going to, I don't think they have enough room to, like, charge. There's a lot of stuff on top of them, so they're just going to run down here and try to, try to clobber lifeline, these two are. Uh, so you can go ahead and pick one of them and roll if you want to attack them, and I'll roll their attacks for you, and it'll just all happen simultaneously. Uh, your spurs give you a plus one to reach, right? So. Correct. Cool. We'll keep that in mind when I do their defense. Here. All right. So one gets a one, and the second one gets a five on you, and I always forget friends in melee. One time it's going to work. One time it's going to work. Ah, yeah. Okay. I guess right. Do I get friends of melee from Bickle? Um, Bickle and I have moved into melee combat with them, but Bickle will get friends of melee for you. How okay. far is he? How far away is he from these guys? Yeah, not not currently with Bickle. But... Darn. Uh, but yeah, so you have plus one to reach, so it's just a negative one for the the defense. Uh, first negative one, then negative two for the second guy. Okay, uh, I'm just doing my attack first, just because... Yeah, that's fine. That'll let me roll defense. Cool. Do you have preference on which one you want to hit? Uh, the one to the north of me, by the wall. Cool, alright. Stop looking at that. Alright. Defense check! Uh... Ooh, he manages to clash aside your your spurs. All right, so this was defend against the first one. The second one's got oh, I don't even know why I bothered to offense melee. They're capped at five, so he's got three net hits on you so far. The second one does down here. Okay. Well, I don't have any edge. There's nothing I can do about it. All right. Well, then it will be. 14p minus 5. Okay, I'll take another 2 stun. Alright. Uh, these two guys are going to chase down Fringe. He's their closest target. Uh, 
and probably that guy too, actually. So it's going to attack them. As a free action, I will say to, I'll just say out loud, uh, Stimpat should help. I think that's uh, Sparkles'. Is. What's mine? <laughs> I mean, don't you ha aren't you the, our flying medic? Our flying medic? Uh, okay, yes, yeah, yeah. lifeline is requested. Stim patch. Assistance, please. Uh, fringe, yeah, there you go. You got a negative. Did you do that right? It was negative two for the first one, negative three for the second one, negative. Uh, what did I take earlier? I took uh, yeah, one, two, and three earlier. Sorry, it's uh, it's, it's two, two, three, and four. Oh, okay. Because uh, it's reach, reach plus friend, reach plus friend, uh, for other friends, right? <laughs> like. Uh... All right. Well, uh, even the first one with the accuracy capped at five, I think I still dodge, so yes. I'm not gonna roll additional. Okay. Sounds good. Good. Sounds good. Yep. Yeah, all right. Capped at five. And all their goon edge is gone. I believe that was all of them moving, so Sparkles, you are next. How is it simple for me to ready a stim patch? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can essentially s simple to, to get it out of your bag, and then you still have a simple if you want to use it on, on Lifeline or somebody. Alright, then that's what I'll do. Slap it right on his forehead. <laughs> you now have a. Uh, that'll be my. That'll be my ballistic mask. You forgot to slap it on the side of my neck. <laughs> All right, then the, the side of his neck. <laughs> Whatever. It's going to be. I, I think you still flew up and hit him on the forehead and realized it wasn't going through the ballistics mask, and you moved to the neck. <laughs> you're it's just. Thick. You're just being slapped at by a flying pixie lifeline. <laughs> Uh, so it's the rating. I've kind of used to that actually. <laughs> yeah, it's the first one you've used this turn, right? Or this combat, right? Or, not combat. Ugh, this uh, mission, run. Adventure. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This adventure. Thank you. That's the term I wanted. Um. All right, Warren. Uh, can you do this with line of sight? No, he needs to touch somebody. Uh. Warren sees kind of Lifeline fighting with two people and Sparkles trying to, to save him. He's going to, to look at Lifeline and kind of whisper under his breath and try to cast armor on Lifeline. And to be a force, I think five, he can do pretty easy. Yeah. All right, Lifeline, you get two more points of armor while Warren sustains this. You just see this beautiful, like, kind of purplish, like, armor just come, cover your body it's very thin but it, it is there and being productive oh, that's 12 points on his drain good he manages to see no drain all right so Warren, is that two points of armor yeah two, you'll have two points of armor while he uh additional points of armor while Warren su sustains that Pickle, it is your turn, good friend. Mm. Mm. Okay, then. Uh, Bickle is going to step up to assist the lifelines. And he is going to chainsaw a stupid, giant, freaking ugly thingy there. He did not run. This one that is right here did not run this turn, right? Uh, none of them are actually running now. None of them are. They didn't have. The, okay. They didn't have the distance to get into the running, essentially. Gotcha. All right. Then I am just going to chainsaw chain. I'm going to line my uh, my laser leveler up on its uh, midsection and swing. I'm just going to move this corpse over here. Don't mind it. <laughs> it's alive. He's crawling away. No, sorry. All right. You uh, you do get your plus one for for lifeline for friends and melee. Oh, one more then. Yeah, see, friends in melee, so good. Nothing. All right, well, yeah. Uh, let's see, this guy, I don't think he has any negatives. He's not been hit by lightning or anything. He's not running, so just do that. Uh, and you get one net hit on him, which is 
12p it's, minus? Tell me if you heard this one before. <laughs> 13p, pin 8. <laughs> 13p minus 8. Have you just been getting one on all these guys? Is that why we keep rolling this? Yes. Uh, he will take 9 damage as your level... Where did your level later just, like, aims up on his chest and you may just cut off a hunk of his chest along with, like, the entire shoulder and just an arm falls off? <laughs> <laughs> And this black goo is now running all over the floor. This is the first one that I've hit with my chainsaw that it has not died instantly. <laughs> no, I am no. shocked. Shocked. That's fair. Fringe, it's up to you, good buddy. Oop, no, 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 Max. Max, you're the fastest in this group. Um, okay. So, Max is going to go and move to there so I can help Fringe out. Um, I think I'm gonna just lightning bolt um, this dude right there. All right, go for it. Lightning bolt. Beat a five. I think I'm gonna do a force nine. All right. There you go, six. How's nice. that? Nice. All right, get one net hit on him. It was a nine, so that'd be ten p minus nine. Mhm. Mm All right, he'll take five physical damage, and it was lightning, so he'll take a negative one there, and his initiative drops by five. That. Yes. Uh, he. Don't let me forget this. He will not get a turn this time. Because he did an interrupt action and bit, and you just hit him with lightning, so. You have eaten away all of his initiative. And I, I eked by with no drain. Fantastic. Barely. Fringe, it is up to you, good sir. He'll extend his hand at the one in the middle of the group attacking him and uh, do another lightning bolt. Yep. Uh, he'll only keep ten of those. Alright. That one's got negatives from lightning beforehand. You keep... keep. <laughs> uh, this would be 16p minus 10. Alright, he is very dead. You explode him with the, the beautiful white lightning of God. Do you have a quote from the New Testament you'd like to tell us while you do this? I'm sure Fringe does, but I do not. Uh, I can't believe you. I want it in Greek, too. You go Google it. Alright. <laughs> You're gonna play the all-powerful NPC. You need to come prepared. Uh, all right, have <laughs> my find is back to you. Okay, um, I'm going to. I think it's probably better if I attack the one that Bickle just attacked and wounded. Yes, you could do that. Uh, you okay, will get friends so in I melee get plus now one as well. For friends in melee. Yep. 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 Oh. That that was for Bickle. All right, two uh, you get two net hits on him with your spurs. Okay, that is uh, eleven P minus two AP. Eleven P minus two. You will take seven physical damage, which is enough to kill him. Would you like to describe your kill to the team, to the group, the stream at large? Uh, Lifeline sort of bats away his, his claymore with his offhand spur and does a, a spur enhanced uppercut to the armored uh, faceless visage and the spurs go in through what would be the chin and out the top of the head as it flies backwards and lands about half a meter on its back with an almighty righteous clang fantastic well played for that one. Uh, let's see. I've got two more little goonies up here. That's that's weird. I'm not going to call them that. They're way more epically fierce and terrifying. They are not a delightful children's movie. Uh, so that one's going to try to attack uh, Lifeline, who just murdered his buddy. 
take a negative one for the defense for the reach and all right so you tied him on the defense his, his claymore just clangs off your uh, shoulder pauldrons there I don't, you don't have pauldrons you're in like you're in nice fancy armor <laughs> they're the ones here his I own mean, pauldrons I mean... Yeah. I'm in big game armor, so it, I probably managed to bring my spurs up and sort of absorb yeah. it or something. You uppercut with one hand and you cling mouth that claymore with the other. <laughs> Alright, these guys are... Uh, this side's going to attack Fringe. I don't think he's got really another good target here, so... We'll do that. Oh, he's still got, he's still got a friend in melee! One more, one more! Alright, didn't matter. Fringe. Alright, dodgy bastard you are. And that other dude doesn't get a turn because he's out of initiative. Thanks to teamwork. Sparkles, what do you want to do? He thinks... Yes? Um, I don't think anybody's got benefit from the leadership. I'm just going to shoot something. What can I see? Uh, you got three three knights there uh, on the ground. Uh, one one attacking lifeline, two of them attacking fringe. I'll, I'll help fringe. All right. Oh, uh, wait, that shooting into combat. That shooting at a friend, though. You you are shooting towards a friend. Upside is able to take negatives too. So as long as and, and fringe is pretty dodgy, so it's a safe bet. But yeah, you'll be shooting into melee. You don't take any penalties. I'll give you a plus two for superior. Oh, that's only for melee decks. Never mind. So yes, you you don't take any penalties. I'll so shoot him. You can just shoot him. Just shoot away. I don't see anything on the modifiers table that would apply. So pew pew. I mean, if you don't. Is there not a shot, bonus for? Is there not a bonus for a moxie? Oh wait, was that minus two? No, no, there was no negative two. Since I'm above. Okay. No, no, One no. Hit. I I was about to give you superior position. I remember that's just melee combat, so. Uh, Alright, so... 4S minus 5. This is a stick and shock round. Whoa, whoa. He gets to defend. Uh, but I did give him the negatives for Fringe being there, basically. Unfortunately, he I'm does still... I'm just telling you what it would be. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Let's see, tell me what it would be. I just didn't want you to think I was using one of my capsule rounds. Oh, I, <laughs> I would trust you to use one of the capsule rounds. Uh, so he's in melee. He started by range. He did take the negative 3 for that. And... But he actually didn't have any wounds yet. Oddly enough, so he uh, manages to defend against. That's it. right. That'll help Fringe get a better hit on him. It will. It will. He's gonna take negatives for that for having been shot before. Max, you're next around. Um. Well, Lightning Bolt seems to be doing a good job against these guys, so we'll, we'll stick with that. All right. Um. Also a Force Nine. Oh, remind you, Sparkles, you do have a sunbeam preparation if you're feeling ballsy. I'm it back. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, defense, you got one net hit, so that'd be 10p minus 9, it looks like. Uh, that is enough to fry him, and he is dead and melts to your green lightning. And Friend. I took some drain, but it... Alright. I'm I'm keeping track of my, my drain damage. Okay. Yeah, do that. The immortal flower. Yeah, do that. And we'll also probably uh do from first aid and stuff perhaps, so definitely. Uh okay. So fringe you're next, sir. So take another shot with the lightning bolt at the uh the knight in front of him. Alright, he'll take a negative one for I've been shot at my sparkles. You get four net hits, so that would be 14p minus 10. And he is, I think, actually still up. No, nope. He is fried and goes down. He, at least he's laying on the ground, so one of you who's very fast can easily murder him, finish murdering him. On the God is comments. my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. Thanks, buddy. You didn't do it in Greek, but that was worth it. That was... I don't know Greek. I... It's okay. It's okay. Fantastic. All well, right. You need to learn. 
Uh, oh no, we still have one guy left, don't we? Um, yep, the guy in the melee was me. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, well then, you know, roll the old initiative. Um, I still had a pass left. Oh! Please. Oh yeah, you do still have a pass left. 11, yeah. and then a 1. Yeah, you had, you had yeah, one I, left. I had, so. a, I had one, and then I think Max had two. Yeah, so go go for that. Take care of him. Mm, Was well, it this guy here? Yeah, you, you can go first, Max, and then I think Lifeline mate did still have a pass left, so... Um. Just a four six this time. Ooh, got good successes on it though. All right. Uh, Lightning bolt. Uh, you manages to dodge against your attack. Lifeline, you want to go ahead and roll for attacking? As you see, this green lightning comes zooming past you. Yeah. I uh, I rolled just up there. I rolled oh. eight, but I can keep seven. You keep seven. All right. Cool. He's been attacked once before. Uh, so you will get five net hits on him, it looks like. In which case, that is going to be a mighty 14p minus two. 14p minus two. Right, he takes nine physical. All right. Uh, Max, go ahead and go ahead and roll initiative. If you do better than, let's say, it's the most they can get. If he got super lucky on his rolls, if you can get better than 36, you can just shoot another lightning bolt. <laughs> we'll save everybody from roll initiative again. Nope. Uh, I meant 26. I know I said 36, but I meant 26. Because uh, that was what 14 plus 6 plus 6 could only total up to be. Sue, so, feel free to throw in the lightning bolt if you would like. And if it misses, we'll make everyone roll initiative again. Keep all 6. Alright, let's see. No uh, I only got 2, so... Before That'll it hits be me. a 10p minus 6p. Minus 6. AP. All right, perfect. Yeah, he's dead. He only had two more hit points left, so as long as you could beat his initiative and set him on lightning fire, you'd have it. All right. There are tons of Shadim corpses at your feet. You guys stand still alive in another combat. Accomplished. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick five-minute break, and then we will uh, answer any questions, do any cleanup we need to do, and move on to the next scene. But I think the next scene we do will be a long one. So I'm going to take a five minute break here.
escape. All right, we have just finished an epic battle in the courtyard. Multiple, a dozen or so Shadem are laying at your feet, dead, dead, dead. Uh, what do we want to do, guys? Uh, I would appreciate it, yeah, if somebody would just use your magic to heal my stun or your your stuff to steal heal my stun. I need some healing. I have no physical damage, but I'm stunned. Yeah, I think stun is going to require some first aid skill. I don't yep. know if there's a spell to do to heal. Uh, there is a death power, but it's a good one. There are only spells that help you ignore stun, but not heal it. That'll help you out. Yeah, just sure. make the make the stunny stuns go bye bye. Here you go, Mr. Lifeline. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've. Uh, <clears throat> can you do us a favor and just roll fourteen plus what? Uh, no. Oh shit, you've got. Uh, um, roll eight plus whatever hits you got up to three, please. Sure. Uh, That'd be 11. <laughs> Somebody Three. else smoking, I take it. Uh, not quite. All right, all right, never mind. Let's not ask. Uh, okay, so <laughs> you got three hits there. Uh, you need two to get over the threshold. And then uh, who is this on? Bickle? Bickle. Yeah. All right, so... I think he's got one. Well, Bickle roll for you. He got... Three hits, so two on the threshold, then one to one to heal a box of stun, Bickle. Yeah, one there more. we go. Uh, better than nothing. Nah, that's a good start. <clears throat> all right, all those skulls. Are I don't want to in your direction, just my plane or anything, but I'm rolling more dice to assist, and he's rolling to actually do it. Oh. Perhaps yeah. you should be breathers. <clears throat> I'm taking the penalty for his essence. You ain't. Yeah, did you take the negative of the Achilles 3, I think? I'm just giving you grief. I have a... I have a stem patch if you need one. Oh, and... Yeah, Mr. Lifeline, I used a stem patch. I need another one. Oh, I thought he gave yeah, you some I'll one out of my pouch. <laughs> no, I, I'm only to carry him one at a time. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. All right, yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll hand one out of my uh, fanny pack to Sparkles. I still have a trauma, it's still good. Actually, no. Yes, out of my fanny pack, I'll keep the one that's in my uh, belt pouch, but in my um, armor. Alright, anything else we need to do? You, uh, so current situation, all those skulls you in know. this room are looking at you. You guys have uh, locked the, or. Er, I guess Sparkles spoof the command to unlock the door. Uh, Warrens is going to stand up and kind of look at you guys. He's still maintaining those armor spells on Lifeline and Max. And he is just going to say, I, I don't think I'm cut out for this. Um, how about I just give you a few more rounds and stay here? You're doing fine, Worm. I mean, the more spells you can put on Bickle, the better. Look, Lachlan, nobody is cut out for this stuff. Bickle shyly raises his hand. <laughs> Looks at the Bickle. In spread the L, I say. Stand up and honor the court. Um, while of we're course. before we I get in there. Will. Before we head in there, I'm going to apply a rating six stem patch to myself. Okay. Uh, for the stem patches, if you guys use more than one in this adventure, you need to roll the addiction. But if you've only, you only haven't used but one, then this we're good. Just FYI. So, uh, let me uh, look. Lauren starts kind of thinking through his mind, can, trying to think how else he can help the group. Max, are you still covered in flames? Yes. <laughs> Alright, well, Fringe will start to approach you, but he'll step a few meters away, and then he'll uh, make the sign of a cross uh, across his uh, body and then point towards you, and he's going to do uh, combat sense. Well, it actually just does flames um, on me, so you don't have to stand, like, meters away. Well, it, and so combat sense is a touch spell, though, 
So, <laughs> not the French kid. Oh, is our spell? Can't take it. But yeah, you're gonna have to reach into the flames and touch him. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, no, he's not doing that. <laughs> um, I can drop the flames. That was just in case the knights got close enough to melee me. I mean, it's really no. it's all really, right. It's I'll leave it I will to you drop guys the flames. Say. You drop the flames, I guess. You want to cast the combat sense on Lifeline? He'll gladly accept it. I mean, the flame, the flames got her out. Drug interaction table. I know you're on here somewhere. Got it. What are you trying to do? Um, well, I figure. Oh, were you talking to me or somebody else? Oh, what's up? What's Vickle? What do you What do you want for the drug interaction table? <clears throat> uh, I found it. I was gonna just say, I think it's about time I take my jazz. I mean. And then next will, of course, be the, the K-10 that I'm going to take. I'm just trying to figure out what my interaction rolls will be. Uh, it's it's one extra dice for every drug that you take after the first. Okay, so I'd be rolling two then because I'm already on guts, right? Yeah, don't forget. Yeah, you're on guts. So, so the um, that adds six dice to my defense rolls, right? Yeah, and you and you get a bonus to surprise if it becomes a, a thing. Oh, wow, K10 and Jazz do not. Nothing uh, crosses over. Shared, That's yeah. why I'm taking. Cool. So it'd be 1d6 for the Jazz, and then when I do finally take the K10, it'd be 2d6, right? Right, yeah, so it's gonna, you're gonna roll 1d6 now, and then you'll roll 2 later. For... So, no side effect. Bickle inhales some Jazz. Alright, Max has got plus 8 to his dodge, and he has... Plus 6. A, plus, sorry, plus 6. He did force. You put force eight in your thing. <laughs> I, I did. You. I see where you corrected. He, he corrected. Yeah. yeah, I didn't. Uh, I had to remember what my focus concentration was. I made a mistake. Oh wait, I'm supposed to add the drugs threshold right now. Michael is not addicted to jazz. I almost was. <laughs> yeah, you almost were. <laughs> Hooray for house rules. All right. Uh, Warren is actually going to look at Sparkles and is going to cast armor on her. And he seems like it's taking. It's a. It's a difficult task for him to do, but he he succeeds. Besides, Lachlan, you can do like I do. Grab a stim patch, and if anybody goes down, you go get them back up again. Kind of looks at you and says, I have but one purpose here, and that's your benefit, not theirs. But to do what I tell you to do, and if that means you pick up a damn stim patch, then you do it. Damn. I think you misunderstand. Uh, but he will, he, he finishes casting armor on you, so you'll get, you'll get a plus two to your armor sparkles. Cool. Love how everybody except for the tank is getting more armor. <laughs> Be surprised, he will end up being a tank. Uh, so, uh, Bickle is prepared to proceed, is anybody else? Declare for reaction, spell defense dice on everyone. Okay, you'll need to do that when we actually get in combat. <laughs> I, I uh, I'm trying to remind myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's fair, that's fair. That's good. Warren's like, that's a good idea. Spell defense is an excellent decision. <laughs> uh, all right. Is there anything else we do? You tell you guys tell me when you're opening the door. Bickle will look to each person in turn. Hang on, let me see if there's something I want to cast into my sustaining focus real quick. I'm waiting for us okay. to open the door and find out that it's a hallway 12 hours long and we've all jumped a gun on everything. That's a good possibility. Uh, Sparkles, are you, did you reboot your device to drop your marks or do you want to keep the mark? 
if the mark persists after I disconnect, we'll say yes, it does. Then yeah, I want to drop it because I that means I want to drop theirs too. Okay, so you reboot, and drop both marks. It drops its mark. You drop your mark. Yeah, yeah. So, I so am way more confident in my ability to get another mark on them than so, my so confidence to get rid of the mark they have. So Bickle doesn't currently have um, uh, an armor spell on him. He Bickle doesn't have any spells on him. Not currently have any spells on him. Uh, Warren will look at you, Sparkles, and ask, "What do you think is inside there?" You said there's a host here. This there. It, this is a host. There's a physical manifestation of a host in the same place where this building resides. It's weird. And it's kind of goopy and it's gross. It's not a it's not a host it's I like. It's kind of goopy. But you've not been inside of it. Do you have an advanced degree in cybernetics and matrix design? Then you wouldn't understand. It's goopy. <laughs> all right. For all his whining, uh, Bickle or uh, Bickle, did you get some spells on you? Did, did somebody? I've not warned it. Warren's rolling his eyes. That's why I called it whining. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm uh, sure no. fine with calling it whining because <laughs> I have nothing besides my own two hands. <laughs> Fringe will move over to you. Uh, and he'll say, uh, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord God will be with you wherever you go. And he'll lay his hand upon your forehead. And then the joke is he doesn't actually cast anything. It's just... <laughs> Bickle believes it. Ooh. Alright, so he's sustaining that one himself. Uh, and uh, he'll keep uh, eight hits off that. That's sexy. That gives me what? Eight dice? Yeah, eight additional defense dice. I'm suddenly not so easy to hit anymore. And he'll move over and do the same thing to Lifeline, sustaining that one as well. Fringe, you're sexy. <laughs> and he'll take one stun. Uh, two stun. I like that you just told the man of God that he is sexy. <laughs> uh, I wanted him to know. Thank you. I don't feel any different, but if you think your God's blessing will help, then great. He's with us in this in this endeavor. He will lend us your aid. So somebody open the fragging door. Bickle kicks it in. All right, you kick it in. You see a hallway. Uh, you see you see the makings of a, a, an open room with all these kind of columns in the middle. Uh, Bickle will stride forward. Those columns have various smiley and unsmiley faces on top of them. I thought that too. Don't don't. Going into a dangerous endeavor. God. Damn it, now I can't unsee. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Bickle steps in the room. Uh, Bickle, I need you to roll. No, I don't need you to roll anything. You walk into the room. I ain't afraid of this shit. Does more of the room open up for me as I walk in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you start seeing more and more of this kind of big, big room with all these columns and pillars. I'll walk right towards the center. All right. Nice. Everyone else, feel free to move up where you were going. Bickle, you stay where you're at. I want to give everyone else a chance to move. Um, Warren will, will walk in as well. I need to move his token. Saying more towards the I'm back. I'm going to and... actually... I'm terrified. I'm going to actually uh, realize that just standing there is not a good idea. So despite the guts, I'm actually going to start taking cover. Oh, you're going to start taking cover? Uh, you got to make a composure roll, I think, actually, for that. Oh, uh, okay. There is a rule associated with guts to not take risky behavior. 
Yeah, it's logic and willpower, actually. Threshold three, to avoid something that would normally be considered foolish, dangerous, or socially inappropriate. I fart very loudly in this chapelish area. <laughs> um, how's they can cover foolish, dangerous, or socially inappropriate? Uh, to avoid. If you're avoiding danger, yeah, so avoiding doing something that is dangerous. So if you can take cover, you just gotta make a logic plus willpower official three test. So, Nikoya, I don't know, you can tell me when you want to roll, but I will be, while we're moving through, I will be using the Inspire from Leadership to help give everyone a bonus to surprise in the event that something happens. If something will happen, right, essentially Bickle gets where he's going. I just want to get an idea of, like, everyone else, like, where they were going. Um... Okay. All right, uh, Lifeline, you move up to take cover. Everyone else has kind of moved into the room, and I have dialogue to read to you. One moment. Don't touch your tokens. Be in suspense. And I will reveal the map to you. Uh, you turn the corner and find yourself staring at your target. Oslander sits on an elevated throne wearing dark and decayed bishop's vestments. Sickly black tendrils wither along the walls of the throne room. The throne itself pulses with a dark power as you reach the limits of the power of the ritual that has brought you here. You feel as though your very soul wants to leave your body in this place to finish dying. As Oslander sees you, he, sa he croaks out, So, the priest has brought you to the bishop. You will find me more powerful on my home ground. Your time has expired. And soon you will. You will. A combat will. Uh, lifeline, though, I need you to make me, because of where you've chosen to stand and walked into here, I need you to make me a... Actually, we'll do that whenever after initiative rolled. Everyone roll initiative. I'm going to reveal the map. So you, uh, see. Does the minus two just for sustaining apply to initiative, or is that just for spellcasting? Yes, casting? it's to everything. 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 Did the background count change in this area? The background count is just a three, just like it was in the previous one. It won't change from now on. Thank you for asking. All right, initiative counter on you do. And you find Oslander sitting on a pulsing throne. That does sound like something Aslander would be doing. Ah, I see what you did there. Okay. <laughs> so mean. Fuck you, ancient evil. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we do. What's the Twitch look like here? What does the what look like here? I was just, just talking to myself. I'm talking about the Twitch. Like the stream? Yes. Oh, uh, I should check it as well. Hopping How in to it? take a look. Can you see it? Oh, hey, Dark Symphony said hi to me. Yeah. Hi. The stream is frozen on the around when you started the break. Oh, fantastic. Um, let me let me try. So kill kill the mood a little bit. Hold on, I'm gonna stop it and start it again. <laughs> 